The topic of this video is testing for symmetry with respect to the x-axis, y-axis, and the origin. There are three definitions, and there are three figures. Each definition goes with a figure. Definition that goes with figure 17. A graph is said to be symmetric with respect to the x-axis if, for every point x, y on the graph, the point x, negative y is also on the graph. The second definition goes with figure 18. Definition. A graph is said to be symmetric with respect to the y-axis if, for every point x, y on the graph, the point negative x, y is also on the graph. Third definition goes with figure 19. A graph is said to be symmetric with respect to the origin if, for every point x, y on the graph, the point negative x, negative y is also on the graph. Now, when it comes to determining symmetry, there are more techniques that you can use than just applying these three definitions. For example, graphs that have x-axis symmetry have the property that when you take the graph and you rotate it around the x-axis, the picture that you get before and after is the same. We'll illustrate this in the next video. A graph that has y-axis symmetry has the additional property that when you take the graph and you spin it around the y-axis, it's the same picture before and after. And a graph that has origin symmetry has the property that when you take the graph and you spin it 180 degrees around the origin, you get the same picture before and after.